Hi and hello dear friends, welcome back once again to our channel Vage Academy of Mathematics and this playlist is where you will find video lessons for CAT, MAT and other management exams. Again this session we have another interesting question from the concept of numbers and that too under reminders we have an interesting question. Let's see the question. What is the reminder when 7 power 99, see here 7 power 99 is divided by 2400 okay so this is going to be the question actually telling the question is going to be very easy provided provided you know the uh, properties of the basic properties of reminders you should be knowing and also you should know about uh, the nature of the powers that also if you have the idea then this problem is going to be nothing the way of solving it is not at all going to be a big deal for you to solve this problem it's, a, it's going to be a very easy question. Yeah, anyways, let's see the approach how we can solve this problem. Okay, alright, yes. So the question is asking for what is the reminder? Okay, this is how usually we represent reminder. Reminder when 7 power 99 is divided by 2400. Okay, alright, yes. So the way the numbers are given itself, we should have some sense of identifying or recognizing so what we can do here okay see here we have got 7 power 7 power and that expression is to be divided by a number which is 2400 so in that sense we should try to catch something over here okay let us try to see the 7 power okay let us be more clear here let us try to see what power of 7 okay just be clear with my uh, expression explanation what power of 7 will bring you very near to this 2400 this is what first point we have to think okay so let's try to work it out so let me start from 7 power 1 itself okay what about 7 power 1 7 power 1 is going to be simply 7 that's it right so next 7 power 2 is going to be what it's going to be 7 7 are 49 so it is too far away and 7 power 3 go 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 yes we'll go 7 power 3 is going to be 49 times of 7 right yes so which is going to be what 343 so which is 343 and we are coming closer and next one more one more 7 power 4 7 power 4 is going to be once again you multiply this 343 by 7 so what do you get there so maybe you can take some time 343 multiplied by 7 so it is going to be what yes you got it it is going to be 2401 and surprisingly the value what we got here for 7 power 4 is much much closer to the number with which we are dividing here 2400 is it or not so in that case we have 7 power 4 is equal to 2401 so now we are going to use this one this expression or we are going to take this as an advantage to solve the problem okay how if you ask how just continue the problem let's just listen here what we are going to do next See our number, what, we, what number we are going to divide. The number here is 7 power 99, right? So 7 power 99 is what we are going to divide it by 2400. So let's try to do something. Just now we got to know that 7 power 4 is 2401. Is it or not? So in that case, what we will try to do here is try to segregate as many 7 power 4s. Just let me repeat it. Try to segregate as many 7 power 4s inside this 7 power 99. That's what we have to do now. Okay, so the remainder of, remainder of, just try to do something here. We have 7 power 99, right? Let us try to rewrite that 7 power 99 as 7 power 4 to the power, to the power something, okay? So if you just think of up to what power we can go here. So 7 power 4 to the power, okay? We have got 7 power 99 here. So that means we can go up to 4, 4, 4, 24 times. Is it or not? Because when you try to divide 99 by 4, it comes most near to 24 only. So we can go up to 7 power 4 to the power 24. Why 24? Now you can cross check it. Okay. 7 power 4 to the power 24. Now check it. What about 4 into 24? Because 7 power 4 to the power 24 will give us what? 7 power. What about 4 into 24 which is going to be 96. Is it or not? So we came much closer to 7 power 99. That's the reason. Okay. Now I am going to rewrite the 7 power 99 as 7 power 4 to the power 24 which is giving us 7 power 96. But we have got some extra 7s also. Is it or not? That also should be accounted. Which is nothing but what? 7 power? How many 7s? 
uh, we are left with we have got three more sevens so that means seven power three i hope you are able to understand this okay so let me rewrite it clearly so i'm just rewriting this seven power 99 in a different way in what way i'm trying i'm, I'm trying to write it just see here i'm rewriting it as seven power four to the power 24 this will bring you seven power 96 and again into 7 power 3 so that you get this 7 power 99 itself that is going to be my objective and why particularly i am trying to write this as 7 power 4's expression why because just now we got the reason because 7 power 4 is what is giving you 2401 that is the reason nothing very simple okay yeah continue which is going to be divided by 2400 so continue with this question so what next we can try to do is now when you have a, a reminders like this okay when you have a product which is to be div divided we can just uh, separate the product right okay because the remainder of the product is going to be the product of the reminders that is a strong basic property which you have already seen in this uh, reminders itself so using that property let me just try to break it okay this expression separately and that one separately let's try to do it okay now when you try to do that what happens is you will have 7 power 4 power 24 this one divided by 2400 this will be lying separately for which reminder okay for which you have a reminder and separately you will have a reminder of reminder of 7 power 3 by 2400 i hope you are able to understand this because you have got the product of two expressions and just separating it in reminders you can definitely do that nothing wrong your answer won't be affected okay that is what is the property of reminders okay and it is continuing so what next i can do is the reminder of now we very well know what is this 7 power 4. 7 power 4 is what is 2401, right? 2401 power 24 divided by 2400. This is what we have here, which is multiplied with, which is multiplied with, so I'll just put brackets for safety. And here, a reminder when, here we have 7 power 3. We know what 7 power 3 is 343, right? So 343, which is to be divided by 2400. This is what we have here. So what next I can try to do is, now again we can use the power property of remainder okay what is the power property see here we have 2401 raised to the power 24 by 2400 this has to be divided by 2400 for which we have to find the remainder so here we can use the powers property if you use powers property what happens you will have the remainder of this inside expression alone taken then raised to the power okay so that means this expression will be rewritten as Remainder when 2401 is divided by 2400, then you will have the remainder of power. I mean, next you can put the powers, which is going to be over 24. So into, what about this expression? What about the remainder when 343 is divided by 2400? It's easy to say, because when a smaller number is divided by a bigger number, the remainder is going to be the smaller number. So 343. So what next I can do is continue, continue. We have one last step left. Now you can see here, we have 2401 divided by 2400. What would be the remainder? It is easy for you to say. This is just 1, right? Is it or not? So this is going to be 1. So 1 power 24 multiplied by 343, which is nothing but you know very well. 1 power 24 is going to be definitely 1 only, right? So 1 into 343 is going to be finally 343 is going to be the answer. So the remainder when 7 power 99 is divided by 2400, the answer is going to be 343 is going to be the answer which is ready available at option C. So option C, 343 is going to be the answer for your this question. Okay, fine. Yes, I hope the flow we carried, the approach we carried to solve this problem, you're able to understand this. And if at all you have any doubts, please come out with your doubts. When I try, try to see your uh, doubts in the comment section, I'll see to rectify it. And if at all you feel like this session was useful, please give a like. And if you feel this session to be useful for any of your friends, please do share this video to your friends also. And again, we'll catch up in the next session with some other interesting question. See you soon there. Thank you so much.